Hey guys, Sheehan Jeremy Sipes here, and I have a fun little drill uh, to do with you guys. So the first thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need two pieces of paper, and you need a pen. So go ahead and pause the video real quick and go grab that stuff. All right guys, I got my pen, my two pieces of paper. Hopefully you do too. So on one page, you're gonna write down your frustrations or anything you're scared of or anything like that. And you can write as many or as little as you'd like. I'm just gonna write one. I'm gonna pretend like when I was a kid and I'm living uh, at home. So maybe, um, maybe I was hanging out with my family and I got a little frustrated with my sister, okay? So I'm gonna put frustrated with my sister. Okay, and that was maybe something that I was thinking about. Maybe I was like, she didn't let me use that toy or she wasn't listening to me or whatever, okay? So maybe that was the, the fear, the frustration of the day, okay? So I was frustrated with my sister. Now let's pretend that that same day I can write down something that I'm happy about, okay? Maybe maybe I got to watch my one of my favorite shows, so. I got to watch my favorite show. And then maybe, Maybe, ooh, maybe I got a chance to play with my Legos because I really like Legos. So I'm gonna put played with Legos. All right, so we got some stuff down. So we got one that's for all the negative stuff. And then we got one that's for the positive stuff, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a little origami fun or a, a little paper folding. Now, I'm gonna let you guys know I'm not the best paper folder, but I got two that you could do uh, to have a little fun with this. So of course, the frustrations and the anger and the and the, uh, the stuff that makes us feel negative, we wanna get rid of that stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some origami for that. We're gonna do my favorite origami. We're gonna take that one and we're gonna turn it into an origami snowball. That's right, so all that anger and frustration, just kinda crumple it up and try and let it go. Try and let that, that frustration go. And then you can take that, that snowball and you can keep crumpling it until you're done thinking about it and throw it in the trash because it's not worth that extra time, energy, and effort. Start thinking about solutions rather than thinking about the problems. And then with your positive stuff, let's have fun with that one. So now, oh, I told you I'm not, I'm not very good at origami. So if this crane doesn't come out the best, you guys can't get mad at me, okay? So you can find tons of different origami shapes online, and it would take a long time for me to be able to go through this tutorial with you guys if we did it all at the same time, because uh, that's a lot of folds. And like I said, I'm not the best at origami, but we wanna make something positive out of those positive feelings, because we wanna keep coming back to them. Man, that was such a great day when I got to play with my Legos. Oh man, that was so cool. I got to watch my favorite show, hang out with my family. I love doing that. You know, find those ways to be positive. Families, that goes for you guys too. You can do this drill with your students, whether your student's a junior, a teen, or adult. All right, and there's my crane. Well, it's not really a crane, it's a paper airplane, but I can have some fun with it. Notice also I put the, the words on the outside so I could read them again and remember those happy thoughts for the day. So. Uh, anyways, just one thing you guys could do for some mental martial arts and have a little bit of fun. Um, negative thoughts, crumple them up. Make them into an or origami snowball. And then the positive thoughts, make them something cool that you'll want to play with or at least look at again and remember those good times. But anyways, thanks for tuning in on this Monday, guys. That was some mental martial arts for you. Stay healthy, and we'll see you all soon. Take care.